Boom, baby, I am back. Long time no see. Well, what a absolute treat of a couple of weeks me and Cam Cam have gone through. Um, it has just been an absolute nightmare um, with the weather, everything. Basically, long story short, um, we're in uh, a terraced house. Um, it's got like two levels of garden. Um, obviously the higher bit is, has got a retaining wall. Well, it had a uh, retaining um, block wall there. Um, it was only done about five years ago, whatever. It was literally just like a single block wall, but laid down, if you know what I mean. And then was basically a load of gravel behind it. Um, and like I say, it's just popped. It's just based, split basically and just popped forward. Um, so yeah, we've been cracking on. Um, we've taken down the wall. Um, and uh yeah like i say it's just i I started videoing bits at the start but it just slowly went downhill uh we got the wall down all right um but behind it um was basically just clay um solid clay and because we've we had this storm storm babette or something um in the uk like and now we've got another storm going on now it's i don't know what i don't know what they're called they're just storms i don't know what they're named it's just we've had a storm and uh, basically loads of rainfall and obviously clay bank, a very steep clay bank. It's about two metres high. Um, and bearing in mind, it was literally just obviously, you know, block walls on its on its side, you know, and that was it. Took that away and then that was it. Boff. Um, and the biggest problem was we couldn't get a digger in. Um, no dumper, nothing. And we had to basically wheelbarrow all the bank uh, from, you know, the bank outside. We filled up about four skips in the end. Um, just getting rid of the clay because um, we're basically, because we because that's collapsed. Um, just to sort of, you know, minimise the bank, basically. We just sort of, we had to take it out because the, the, where we're working, there's, there's no room. So we were literally just like, yeah. So we had to fill up a wheelbarrow and then both of us lift it through, you know, a kitchen dining room into a skip. So imagine four skip loads. It's uh, big skips as well. And it was just, yeah, it was just a bit of a nightmare, really. Um, so like I said, I did, I did the video a little bit, but then obviously, you know, it didn't take me long to sort of be like, hmm. Yeah, this is this is not going to be fun, and obviously it just we've just had weather. It's just been rain really for the last week and a half. Like I say, when we when we first started taking it down and that, we started using a kanga to take down the block, and that was the right line. But as soon as that weather came in, we every day we came in, that bank just kept collapsing, and there was just nothing we could do. We nothing we put up supports to hold the bank in. It was just so much pressure. Hence, obviously, why this wall didn't take long to pop. You see. Um, so yeah, so anyway, we've got through that. So now we're at a point where we've got, um, we've banged up a block wall. Uh, we use block and uh, bar, basically, rebar, whatever you call it. Um, block bar, um, filled up the back. So basically right now what we've put in just with a block wall um, is about four times the width of what the original wall was. And then we still got a clad about 10 inches or whatever on, on, on the front of it. Um, so, you know, we, we, and we, we put new drainage in because it had no drainage. All it was was, like I say, gravel, about five tonne of gravel behind the wall, which, you know, down the bottom of the wall, yeah, at the back of a wall, you know, obviously, you know, but anyway, yeah, it just it doesn't really work like that. You know what I mean? You've got to shovel a load of gravel without, you know, no pipe or anything. No, because it's the right sort of releasing the pressure of water, but the water has got to go somewhere. Um, so anyway, we, we sort of drainage out whacked up a block wall that's where we're at stones arrived today um so yeah like i say we can crack on and uh just start cladding it's just going to be dry stone effect so just like the last job i did um basically is using natural stone this is a different type it's still a forest marble the stone we're using i'll show you later um but yeah like i say it's just a lot fatter um so it's going to be really nice it's just going to be sort of it's more of the cladding stone it's what you sort of normally use the forest marble for for actual, you know, cladding the houses and stuff. Um, Cause it's just a lot bigger. It's just bigger, you know what I mean? Whereas like the last job I did, that was just like sort of really thin stuff. Um, like as dug basically, this is a bit more sort of selected stone really from the quarry. Uh, so it's sort of, you know, actually been hand picked out if you know what I mean. But anyway, let's crack on with today. Um, like I say, got a, we've got a footing in, the block wall's up um, and we've just got to carry on with the stone. So, uh, yeah, I will show in a minute what I've got. I've got. I'll do it now, actually. So next, I will show um, a couple of clips I've got from when we took down the wall, and then uh, yeah, we'll carry on with um, yeah today's build. Basically, lovely jubbly. Let's crack on with today, baby. The mystery is what is behind there. Wow. Because if 
it could literally make, we can't get no digger in here, we can't do anything. Now this is just going to go. This is Cam Cam in his natural environment. It's moving. It's coming. Go on, Cam Cam. Go on. Once we get this corner off, it's going to be a lot easier. That is stubborn, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Righty, we've got the wall down. Um, that is quite a lot, actually. So it was a block on its side with a load of gravel behind it. But it is tough stuff, all wire going through. Lovely job. So half of it is down. So we've come in this morning to... Collapse number three. What a treat in it, Cam. Um, yeah. So in perspective, that's the word. We were digging out to about there, and as you can see, it is just it's just because it's a clay bank. Um, we've got no way of reinforcing it. Um, we were thinking about putting stakes down with boards, but it's just the rain we've had. What was that storm called? Babette. We've had this storm and uh, like I say, because the weather, we didn't come in yesterday and uh, we put, as you can see, this tarp, we put all the way over the bank, pretty much about three quarters, even though it won't do much because you're still going to get water come through and stuff. But uh, yeah, it's just totally gone. So yeah, we've had what, three skips? Yeah. Three skips out so far, but we don't really want to take any more away from site because we don't need to be we need to backfill this with like a mixture, do you know what I mean? So we're going to put in a really thick wall, but if we can't just keep taking it out. So we've had to basically start piling it up um, because when we build up, we just need to really just get this cleared now and uh, yeah, pray that it doesn't collapse anymore and just get a footing in. But every time we get ready to put a footing in, the bank collapses. What's this, number two, three? But uh, yeah, so it's probably another load of dirt really to move probably a good two skips here isn't there really when you think about it but you know what the sun oh no it's not it's grey it's bleak it's going to rain later can we can't even be <laughs> <laughs> oh anyway we're going to get our teeth stuck into this but uh yeah it's going to be another day of digging digging in the rigging cam cam <whistles> yay <laughs> oh, mate. Whatever I want, that Friday morning. Yeah, it's Friday as well. Oh. Righty, tighty, here we go. This is where we've got to. And it is a right treat, isn't it, Cam Cam? What do you reckon? Describe this job. Describe it, mate. Beginning terrible. Now, now we're, we've got somewhere. You can see, look at the state of you. Look at that, look. It's hard work, mate. It is hard work, it's terrible. So anyway, like I say, we have been spending... I'll come up here, it's better. Um, yeah, the last week or two basically doing this. 
um, it has just been a nightmare, uh, like I was just saying. So the original wall um, basically ran on these steps here. It was just a block on its side, um, just a normal block as well. I don't even know the terminology. I, I just, yeah. But um, like I say, they're about half the size of them blocks. So on their side and yeah, it just obviously couldn't take this. This bank is just absolutely, I just don't understand why it was made or what. But anyway, it's, it's a new build um, building. Well, site, you know what I mean? Housing. But there you go. Anyway, you can sort of see how much it's collapsed. That's everything we've put back because to get a footing in, we had to take everything off, um, like literally everything. So uh, um, that's what we got left there. We're having to literally fill this up, take it out, fill it up. You go around the corner there, then through the kitchen and lounge. Like So anyway, we are at the best stage right now. Um, we worked in drainage. It was just like a French drain, basically. Um, perforated pipe and gravel. Right at the back, and that diverts that way. We have got a load of weep holes. Um, well, I'll call them weep holes. I've just left a couple of gaps in the block, um, which are coming through, which is what is filling up this at the minute. But uh, luckily, we've got a course of stone in which has gone off. And then, because uh, it rained quite heavy um, last night, it, obviously all the water seeping through. Like So we've just got to deal with it, because basically in between the course of the stone there and the the patio like there's a little thin line of uh, paving going in um which we've just got to replace because that was all smashed when the wall fell down uh so yeah that's why it's like that so it's a bit of a nightmare we just keep sweeping it out basically because obviously we've got a trench you know what i mean if we didn't have the trench it runs onto the uh the uh, patio and then it runs off so once it overfills it goes like but uh yeah that's where we're at if it just needs a clean down it's just been like i say just terrible clay is absolutely terrible this is the back of it so like I say, we uh, you know, the original was pretty much the width of that trench. Basically, it was the exact same width as the stone there. Um, so that's all it was, was just one wall with gravel behind it. But you can see how far back we've gone. We've backfilled all this with like rubble and that as well. Um, and just slowly bringing it in and just sort of really, you know, compacted back the clay like. But yeah, it's just constantly wet. So the drainage is definitely working. Like I say, there's a pipe going down to the main drain there. And then, uh, yeah, like I say... But yeah, it's just all good fun. Now we're on the uh, the good stuff now. So we've got this stone here. Um, it's just a bit of a nightmare getting it in because we can only bring in half a barra because it's big, hefty stone. It's the normal forest marble we use. It's just chunkier. So when it comes to this, like as you can see here, it's just uh, nice and easy to whack up, like, you know what I mean? But we're going for a nice rustic dry stone look, basically, of this. But anyway, without further ado, we're going to crack on. Um, yeah, and just try and get a few courses in today, really. And uh, yeah, hopefully it just doesn't rain because we don't need that. We don't need any more rain. Anyway, let's crack on, baby. Lay the egg. Yeah, but I actually reckon you lay the egg. How, how, how would I lay an egg? It's, what do you mean, how would you lay an egg? Time's that storm coming in? Oh, I'm not 100% sure. I know it's going to be coming in tonight. Like the rain's coming in. Yeah, say it's like. It's like is it all day? What, storm tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Is it? Yeah, do you want me to check? I don't know. I'll have a look, see. Oh, he said biscuits. Biscuits? Right, and so the weather tomorrow. Oh. 90% 7, 96, 8, 98, 97, 99, 95, 90, 80, 50, 50. 
So it was meant to kill off about seven, seven, eight ish. In the morning? Talk, no, no, no. Just, just, just talk me through my day tonight. What? But that is meant to kill off at eight o'clock tomorrow evening. So what? What? So what is it at seven o'clock tomorrow? What in the morning? Yeah, ninety percent heavy rain. What's it at ten o'clock? Ten o'clock, ninety-seven percent heavy rain. What's it at eleven o'clock? Ninety-nine. Mm. What? Twelve is ninety-five. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's it at twelve o'clock? <laughs> ninety-five. So basically, it's raining tomorrow. Yeah, that's what, you're, that's what you're saying to me. Guys. Head, shoulders, knees and toes. Beautiful. Because Cam is beautiful. No matter what he says. Alright. Oh, she scared me. You scared the scare my stuff. Boom, look at that, that's not bad. We didn't get going till this morning, like, so. Like I say, that base course is uh, all in. As you can see by the stone, it's a bit different to what we normally use. Um, it's just a lot chunkier. Ooh, that's like a, it's a bit of a curved stone there. But yeah, so it's lovely, really, lovely stuff. Like I say, that's a couple of hours, that. So uh, um, yeah, no, I'm happy with that, really. Happy with that. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna continue this tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow we should be nearing about halfway and uh, that's if this weather lets us. We did have a downpour earlier and uh, yeah, it was nasty. But uh, so yeah, there we go. Lovely jubbly. So get a full day on it tomorrow, like I say. Fingers crossed, please. We just oh, we just need a couple of days. This will be done in about three days if we just had some nice dry days, you know what I mean? But we're all right now, like I say. We might whack a bit of mortar or something in there or gravel or something just so it pushes the water out like i say that bottom course is all solid it's all gone off it's just yeah it's just keeping this all muddy really um but yes it's one of them jobs it's just you know until we get rid of that it's got nowhere to go is it so anyway over and out and uh yeah take care and i'll see you in a bit boom